Let's play around now with some type. Go back to the graphics section in here and I'll change this over to text. And any of these, if you just double click on it, it will automatically give you a bit of text just like that. Now once you have text, if you switch to your type tool, there we go, we can then come in and actually select that text and change it any way we want. Let's just try different sizes in here. We'll start off with this one. Here we go. Basic beginning. I'm going to adjust the letting in here from auto. Let's try to bring that letting in a little bit. Check OK. If we're on the move tool, we can then move this around. There we go. Now if you want to change the look of your text, let's just come in here and I'm going to double click on a different style. And there it is. As long as this is selected as a layer, you can double click and change that style. Let's take a look at our layers. Here we are as a text layer. Big T on there. It's working as a text layer. And a lot of what's in here is coming in as effects or FX as they like to call them. And here we go. So we have a glow, an inner glow, and a bevel in here and a little inner glow color on that. Could do a drop shadow. Just add that in. So once you have your starting point you can then easily modify that. Let's just stick here with, with playing with the graphics first and we'll try a few different things. I want to find something which works out well on that background. Not too bad. Let's try this one. Notice on these if you see the gradient in here top to bottom if you're working with more than one line of type, notice how the gradient goes clear down both lines of type. I'm going to select just the one line of type. And again, notice how it still goes, the gradient still goes from the whole top to bottom line of type. If I wanted to make this separate so that it wasn't giving me the gradient from top to the bottom, if I want to have the gradient only being within the letters themselves, I would need to separate this into two pieces of text. And we, I can demonstrate that. Let's just change out of here. I'll come back to my type tool. Double click and notice here that the gradient is now going from the top of the type to the bottom of the type. If I said OK on that one, bring it up and let's do another one of those. Again, top of type to the bottom of the type. So if I took these and just typed in my text, there we go. Like that. I'll bring it down here. And you'll see the difference. In this instance, both of these type sections have the full gradient top to bottom inside the one line. Where I have two lines, the gradient goes between both lines, or you know, from the top and all the way down to the bottom. Which way you want to go on that really depends upon the look that you're going for, you're trying for. Just hit the delete key here. There we go and delete those layers. So a little bit of text in there. Now there's a lot of text you can do. Once you have your text done, you also can go to your effects if you want to and you can apply styles onto that as well. Let's just come in here. Let's just take a look at our complex styles. So I double clicked on that and notice how it actually applied that style onto the text. You can use your styles as well. Even if you've applied a text look, you can apply a style right on top of that. So you have a lot of flexibility in here on your different styling for these letters. Now when you do this kind of a style, it's also going to be bringing this stuff in as additional effects so have additional options in the effect section little pop-up dialog box I'm just gonna go for just some standard drop shadow in here yeah it's a little weird 
not too bad. An outer glow would help on this one as well. So let's so let's just go back to our layers here. And we'll do this. We'll double click on that little FX right there. And I'll leave the shadow alone and the inner glow alone. Bevel alone. And let's just take a look at our stroke here. Just a little bit of a stroke. I'll change this to a white. It's a little more fun. You can read it very easily. It looks kind of vacation e in there. So there we go. Let's choose OK. So a little bit of fun in here, playing around with some text and placing it into our into our document. Again, when you're in this, you can use your type tool to do anything you want with this. I'm going to close the layers down. And let's click into our type. There it is. And then click into the type. And let's go to our type warping. Just need to make sure I'm on that layer. There we go. And let's just play around a little bit with the with our type. Try to find something which is kind of fun in here. You know, whatever you want to do. Basically, what I just want to show you that you have complete control over this with any of your tools after you have created your type, even if you made that type starting with the graphics.